All right, guys. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another product section or review or I must say preparation for my Casa ride. I don't know what exactly to caption this, but this is definitely about my new helmet and few purchases of my sunglasses, which people were following me on Instagram and they were like, please let us know what these things are. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are wondering who is that man standing behind me. Actually, that's the Darcha set. It's definitely going to be reviewed soon. Once I get my boots, I will review the entire gear what I'm wearing to Kazakh. And yes, one of the helmets which I'm wearing is Steelbird. Now you guys must be wondering that I already have so many helmets. Why am I wearing Steelbird? And what's the story behind this? Well, I'm happy to purchase a lot of products, but thanks to Steelbird for providing this helmet, and I'll talk about it now. Well, we were indicated by the team that we are supposed to wear off-roading helmets, and I do not have any off-roading helmets. I either have half-face helmets or full-face helmets. Uh, now the thing is that why we are supposed to wear off-roading helmets and why not the helmets which we have? Uh, the problem is fogging. Yes, and yes, there are a lot of anti-fog solutions such as sprays, uh, coating, films on it, and everything. But apparently, it has failed. All right, I have heard from a lot of riders it has completely failed because there is nothing. Which can solve a solution by actually air passing inside your helmet. So the theory was simple that we should wear off-roading helmets with ski goggles. All right, not even the visor because even the visor would fog up. I was wondering, and then Steelbird provided me this brand new helmet, and trust me, this design really caught my eye, and I was like, wow. First thing when I got this box, I did the unboxing on Instagram to check with all my subscribers who are on Instagram to you know let me know how this is, how cool this is. I wanted the off-roading helmet to be a little funky this time. Uh, you know, usually I always go with blacks and whites and greys. The reason is when you're in the snow and if you're riding a bike and you're completely covered in black outfit, as you can see, my darcha pants are black, my jacket's black, my boots will be black. So the helmet should stand out and it's noticeable, so that other riders can spot me very easily. If I've fallen down, they can say, "Hey, that's Raj. He's fallen down," or anything as such. And that's why I have unboxed this on Instagram, but I'm showing it to you guys, and it's kind of an unboxing review and everything, whatever you call it. But this is very casual with you guys. It's like basically, um, it's I'm chilling with you all, having coffee and discussing what's going on. Well, this is the helmet, all right, uh, by Steelbird. Comes with this nice uh, little bag inside, and boom, check it out. Okay, let me give you all a 360 view first. Yeah, so this is an off-roading helmet. It's damn light, all right. All the technical specifications will be on the website, so you can check it out. Yes, it is called the RSB Racing Steelbird, which RSB stands for. This is their new series. Uh, the previous one were different. This is again by Bargi Designs, all right. The same Italian design. But look at this feel. I mean, this is so amazing. I really liked it, and I I, I like that they chose a color for me. You know, I was trying to go for blue and white graphics uh, to be more subtle, but then uh, you know I have to be a little funky in the snow, right? I love fluorescent green, but unfortunately they don't have anything in fluoro green. So I got orange, and orange is also a cool color. Uh, really stands out more for racing and stuff. And well, let's talk about this helmet quickly now. Well, it's very light. That's the best part. Yes, it is ISI approved. So if you are thinking that it's not, it is ISI approved. It does come with dual visor. I'll show you guys all of that. Well, it says it's a scratch resistant visor and it is polycarbonated, silicon hard coated. It does come with special wax polish and stuff on it, and it's decent. It is a motocross approved visor. So I'm removing the top part. I'm removing the sticker. All right, here we go. Look at it. Cool, right? Well, this is how the helmet looks. Uh, feels really nice. The fiber quality is good. A lot of people try to squeeze it from here, so this is the strength I'm using, and you can see that. But remember, off-roading helmets are always conical here. You know, they always go like that, and this is the strength of it. I have heard that this has been tested, wind tunnel tested, hammer tested, thrown from floors, and you know stuff like that. And I think it's hardcore. The the fiber does look a little stronger than the previous one, which is nice. It does come with this shield for sun protection. Feel the sun is still penetrating through. You can do this. The reason this is because this whole thing is adjustable in two levels. Let me show it to you all. So it goes down, and it goes up. 
So if you feel that you need a little more shade, you can put it down, sling it out, and there you go. You just have to unscrew this and this whole thing comes off. Uh, I'll tell you why I have to remove it. I'll show you all that also. Uh, it does have the pin visor setting here. I can see. So it does have a pin visor setting. And fortunately, I do have a product, which is the anti-fog flame, which I can coat over it. So that would be very beneficial. However, that all has failed when it comes to minus 10, minus 15 or minus 20 degrees. And that's the reason we've been advised to wear ski goggles. Now that's another story which we'll get into. First we'll finish with the helmet. Let's come with the chin air vent here, near the chin area. Very easy to operate. Uh, does come with a dual visor, yes. So if you want to see the dual visor. So again, all the details are, this is also a scratch resistant visor which is inside. It does say that it is a high definition photo lining, uh, minimum light effect, transmission. Oh, it's 80% uh, transmission for sun, which is decent enough. So it's dark enough. So I'm peeling this off now. Damn, look at this, how crisp it looks now. All right, so this visor has a switch here, which is simple to operate. Yep, it goes down and it's locked. Pull it up, it's gone up. Simple, let's talk about the cushioning. Yes, the cushioning is removable, washable, changeable, and uh, decent and soft. Remember, off-roading helmets will be a little loose, but this is, however, a little more loose to me, but I don't have to worry because I'll be wearing woolen buff. If you've seen my previous video from the Decathlon, I did buy the woolen buff, which I'll be wearing inside, and that'll make it more thicker. And below the buff, I'll still wear a knit cap on my head because it's gonna be extremely cold. And that's the reason this will be very good fit uh, during the ride. And that's why this, I feel, will do justice for my ride and I hope it does well. well this, is, uh, this is how the whole helmet is. I like this lip part which comes in off-roading. That's extra protection. Uh, the grids here, like the racing lines which you see are really cool. But the biggest advantage of that is that when I wear my ski goggles, they don't slip down because of this ridges and that's why they are designed like that so you can wear ski goggles on it and i'll show you that also it does come with uh, two vents here for airflow it does have a vent on top this is adjustable and removable what else comes in the box is also these extra things all right so if you lose this by mistake uh, they have given two extra ones even for the top part so that it's beneficial that if you lose it you can have it very easy to slip on the best part about this helmet is that when i wear it on okay and i can have my visor also on if i feel like the best thing about this helmet is what i liked is it's very easy to unclasp check this out so it's a very easy quick release you know uh, especially when we'll be loaded with those thick gloves and everything if i want to remove the helmet i just have to do this and it's very simple so i like this system and it's nice and sturdy uh, well see the fit is perfect you can still see a little bit of my mustache my nose and a little bit of forehead the vision is very nice and i'm planning to get ski goggles on it i have got the ski goggles which i'll show you all now yeah, so it's a little bit loose for me. As you can see, it, it, it shakes inside, but off-roading helmets are supposed to be a little bit loose, not very, very tight, extremely tight. However, when I'll pad myself inside completely, this will be a perfect fit. I can sense it. Even for my riding boots, I've called for an extra size so that I can wear thick socks, uh, double layered, uh, so I'll be well protected. Well, this is how the whole helmet is. It's decent, it's strong, and I like that it's lighter. So it'll be not too much of weight. Now the biggest question for me arises that where do I mount my GoPro? The options I have is the top lid, the side angle and the chin mount. The chin mount is possible if I mount it here and put an extension and keep it here. So I have all these three options. I'll work on that tonight. Whatever works out, you all will know during my Kaza ride because these nine days when I'm traveling, I'm vlogging for sure. But I just hope my camera works and it doesn't freeze off. So now let me show you how it looks uh, after wearing it. Decent. Uh, light, I was wearing this even yesterday night, even day before to check how I feel. It is very light, a lot of wind goes inside. Well, this was all about the helmet. I will definitely show you all with the ski goggles how it looks. Well, before that, I'll also talk about my sunglasses, which you guys are eager because I got so many messages on my Instagram, so many that where do you get these glasses from? So I'll talk about them. 
So you guys know I wear a lot of fast track. The reason I wear it, it's reasonable and it's even if I lose it, it doesn't pinch me. So I really found these ones really cool. I'll wear them and I'll show it to you all. Well, they fit really nice. I had to make sure that I have one riding glasses which there is no air penetration, snow or wind going near my eye area. So it really fits well if you can see. It is really nice. I like the design. By the way, this is not sponsored. It is for $12.50 which I bought from a fast track store in Shopper Stop. You guys can go grab yours too. They do have grey, black which you've already seen in my past videos. This is more of blue colored ones, which is really nice for the hard sun we'll have in snow. I did crib about my glasses when I did the IBW ride. I lost them in the sea. I got the same Polaroid, 100% Polaroid fast track glasses. This is for 1750 and I got these also for my general use, for my daily wear. Well, something amazing happened about the ski goggles, all right? I had mentioned this on my Instagram story that I am not finding the right ski goggles. And a call from Himan Bai from AH Helmets, he's like, hey, I have the best motocross gift for you. And I'm like, what's that? He's like, just come to my store. So you wanna see it, right? Boom, yep. This is so freaking cool, all right? Uh, so this is actually provided by Himan Bai and I'm glad he did that it looks so cool it is so perfectly fitting my helmet that it's made for this if you so if you guys see a lot of orange in gaza that will be raj that was about the motocross goggles given by him and by now let's talk about the one i purchased from amazon all right i bought this for around 800 or 900 rupees all right they are decent the only thing is it says they are anti-fog but i don't know how good they are they do fit in my steelbird helmet but not that perfect, you know. So I'm not that happy with, I had an option to return this bag because it doesn't fill my purpose. But I thought, you know, I love the color. I love the whole shade and everything about it. It's so retro and old school. Yeah, so this looks cool even on this helmet and the other retro helmets I have. So I thought, why, why give it back? It's for eight, 900 bucks. And trust me, it is light. It is very nice. The vision is superb. So I kind of like this. I bought it for like eight, nine hundred bucks from Amazon.in, and I think they're decent enough. So I'm not gonna give it back because I need a pair also. Yep. So this is how it it fits uh, old school retro helmet. Yes, you can loop it here so that it's easier. My this helmet is quite beaten up, but stay tuned. What I'm gonna do with this helmet will be magical. So stay tuned for that video because you guys will like it. Usually motocross people wouldn't do what I'm trying to do here is that after wearing the goggles, I still have the visor on top. And yes, it does shut in spite of wearing my goggles inside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep both these options on. If, if it really does, doesn't work, I'll just open this and it'll be as simple as that. And I'll wear my buff. If it doesn't, I'll do that. And if it's really annoying me, I can always unscrew it and remove the visor i hope things work out fine and yes i will share my dates when i'm traveling i'll share the entire packing video so stay tuned for that master video which i'll do which will be my last video before i leave for casa and one more information friends that a lot of people were asking me about my delhi meetup delhi meetup is certainly happening but it will happen after my ride and i will definitely announce and we'll do a rocking meetup because this meetup will be exclusive trust me you guys have no idea what i'm planning but if i come to delhi it's not gonna be for a day i'm gonna stay longer and see you guys there and i hope you like this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up if you've not subscribed subscribe to my channel and as usual eat well sleep well be good signing off ride with raj